Hi, my name is Dr. Drew Miller, and I serve Sam Houston State University as Associate Vice President for Student Affairs and Chair of the COVID-19 Working Group. I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone for the hard work and energy they've been putting in this year to make campus a safer place to be. It's because of your hard work that we've been able to have a successful school year and celebrate events like the Sammies today. Uh, I also wanted to remind you that even though things like case rates are falling across the state and vaccination rates are increasing, we're not out of the woods yet. It's important for all of us to remember to practice the same common sense um, prevention practices that we've been using all year to make sure that we can complete the year on solid footing. So remember, whenever you're out and about, always make sure you're maintaining a minimum of six feet of distance from anybody else. Always make sure you're wearing your face covering indoors uh, and do the basics like wash your hands. Um, you'll make your mom happy. Um, and if we can continue to keep doing these things, we'll be able to complete the academic year uh, on solid footing and send our graduating seniors out in the style they deserve with an in-person graduation ceremony. So that's enough out of me about all that. What we're really here to do is watch the Sammies. So without further ado, let's get the show started. Good luck to all the nominees and eat em up cats. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 27th Annual Sammies. Introducing your hosts for this year's ceremony, Ms. Jillian Choquette, Ms. Uriel Jackson, and Mr. Jesus Martinez. Jillian Choquette is a junior from Cypress, Texas, studying to become a middle grades mathematics teacher. Jillian has come to realize that Sam Houston State is truly a home away from home and that there are more opportunities than academics. Jillian is currently in Orange Key, the Vice President for the College of Education Ambassadors, working on several research projects, and is lead staff for Bearcat Camp 2021. Throughout her time with these organizations, she has cherished every Bearcat she has met, and the traditions, along with the memories, are what mean most to her. Out of school, Jillian enjoys exploring the outdoors and making her loved ones laugh. Jillian would like to thank her parents for the endless support in all her endeavors, as well as her friends who encouraged her to try something out of her comfort zone, which led her to being one of your MCs tonight. Uriel Jackson is a sophomore education major from Houston, Texas. During her time at Sam Houston, she has found herself getting involved with organizations such as Black Women Empowered, Kappa Delta Pi, and We Rise. Uriel has also taken on leadership roles, such as being a Welcome Week's team lead, an orientation leader, and the program chair for Sam Houston State University's Natural Hair Society, as we are. Uriel has also had the opportunity to be a part of promotional videos for the university. Outside of her commitments for school, Uriel also dedicates her time working at Tomorrow's Promise Montessori School and volunteers with the Houston Food Bank. Uriel would like to thank her family and best friends for continuing to support her and her dreams. Jesus Martinez is a junior multi-platform journalism major and a Spanish minor from Ferris, Texas. During his time at Sam Houston State, he has been involved with many organizations and served in prominent roles. Jesus is part of the Freshman Leadership Program, SH Elite, served as the caucus chair and senator for the College of Arts and Media for Student Government, president of Alpha Lambda Delta, Welcome Leak leader, and lastly, serves as the social media coordinator for the food pantry. Outside of school, Jesus enjoys taking photos, editing videos, and watching the news. Jesus would like to thank his parents, sisters, and his extended friends and family for all their support through his college career. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your MCs.
welcome to Sam Houston State University's official student award ceremony, the 27th annual Sammies. Since 1995, the Sammies have recognized outstanding individual and organizational service to the university and community. Our award ceremony this evening is comprised of three categories, the first two being individual student awards and student organization awards. The nominations for each individual and student organization were submitted by university faculty, staff, and students. The nominees then turn in a letter of recommendation and a candidate nomination form. After receiving submissions, the SAMI Selection Committee then determined the final award recipient for each category. The Selection Committee consists of representatives from the President's Office, Provost Office, Student Affairs, Student Activities, SHSU faculty, and representatives from each of the eight Dean's Offices. Our final category of the night is the Individual College Awards. These awards recognize individual excellence and service for each of the eight colleges. Faculty and staff within each college nominate individual students for the awards, while the winners are chosen by their respective dean. An additional award, the SAMI, will be presented to four faculty, staff, or Sam Houston seniors. This award is also chosen by the SAMI Selection Committee and is the most prestigious of all awards. The SAMI is awarded to those select individuals who embody the motto of our university, the measure of a life is its service. Well, we have such a great show tonight and I can't wait to finally meet all the recipients and presenters. The first award tonight goes to the student who has shown that just because you're new does not mean you cannot stand out. Yes, recognizing the student that has made a transition into college but have taken a step further to become student leaders on campus, we'd now like to present the first award of the evening to the outstanding first year student leader. The nominees are America Alvarado, Maggie Andres, Anna Berrios, Jordan English, Joshua Loya, Hannah Morgan, Ileana Nanez, Mackenzie Patterson, and Rachel Ziegler. And the winner is Mackenzie Patterson. Mackenzie Patterson, title holder of Miss Piney Woods 2021, is a very determined and resilient woman who won't stop until she achieves her goals. She is involved with Alpha Delta Pi, where she holds the position of operations specialist. Mackenzie volunteers at the Care Center of Huntsville, which provides clothing items for foster families and is very special to her. Her Miss Piney Woods platform, LEAF, involves her working with the foster care system Mackenzie plans on creating care packages and a pen pal system for the kids and wants to remind them that they are heard, loved, and cared for. She hopes that her platform will one day be known worldwide. Our second award of the evening goes to the O's organizations who show an aptitude for scholastic achievement and the nominees for Outstanding Academic Honorary Organization are Kai Tao Epsilon Dance Honor Society, Golden Key International Honor Society, Kappa Delta Pi, and Texas Association for Future Educators. And the winner is Kappa Delta Pi. Kappa Delta Pi was founded to strive to a high degree of professional fellowship, leadership, and growth in the field of education, and serve their students and educational community. In the past year, they have continued to serve students through Project Starfish, as they are able to provide financial and emotional support to students. As well, they have recently started to donate to the food pantry and assist those Bearcats who struggle with food insecurity. They created the Big Little Mentorship Program for their graduate and undergraduate members to connect with one another. 
thanks to the officer team and their advisor, Amber Godwin, for her assistance as they navigated new ways to engage all of their members through the COVID-19 pandemic. They continue to give back to the SHSU community and provide resources for future Bearcat teachers. Let's now present the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Arts and Media. The nominees are Michaela Boyles, Angel Davis, and Aubrey Lee. And the winner is Aubrey Lee. Aubrey Lee is a senior music education major set to graduate in the fall of 2021. She is the current president of the Collegiate Percussion Academy and she has been a part of the Bearcat Marching Band drumline, the SHSU Symphonic Band, and the Sam Houston Percussion Group. She works in the School of Music and she enjoys helping students and faculty with logistical problem solving, communication, and organizational solutions. When she isn't studying, rehearsing, or working, she enjoys snuggling her cat, thrifting, and quilting. Upon graduating, Aubrey hopes to secure a job teaching music at the elementary level and soon begin the journey to education administration in the role of a school principal or district-wide director of fine arts. Her leadership philosophy is to lead with a servant's heart and she cannot wait to begin her career in education serving the young minds of our world. And now, here is a message from Dean Shields. Good evening, I'm Ron Shields, Dean of the College of Arts and Media, and tonight I get the opportunity to announce the name for our Excellence in Service Award for the Sammies, the 27th Annual Sammy Award event, and from the College of Arts and Media is Aubrey Lee a senior music education major. She's president of the Collegiate Percussion Group, and she's been a leader on the drum line of the Bearcat Marching Band. Congratulations, Aubrey. Thank you, Dean Shields. At this moment, Sam Houston State University and the 27th Annual Sammies are proud to present the Sam Houston Kane Award. The university has developed this award in an effort to recognize those entities within the university which do not fall within the parameters of the current award categories. These groups may be university-funded entities, university departments, or other on-campus initiatives that contribute back to the university in the areas of spirit, tradition, and service. This evening, SHSU will be distributing one Kane Award to a deserving entity. The winner is the Student Health Center. Presenting the Kane Award is Mr. Brandon Cooper, the Director of Student Activities. Coming to accept the Kane Award is the Student Health Center. Mr. Cooper. How about another round of applause for the Student Health Center? What an incredible job they do on campus. Yes, thank you for everything you do for our campus. Our next award goes out to those students who have gotten a little taste of the college experience, but they still have a little longer to go. 
let's present another individual award to the outstanding sophomore student leader. The nominees are Megan Blythe, Zaquias Castro, Joseph Chavez, Summer Davis, Haley Davis, Kristen Deason, Yadira Dominguez, Jessica Hernandez, Uriel Jackson, Maddie Jones, Cody Kettler, Brooke LeCox, Laura Morrow, Destiny Northern, Caitlin Osby, Ramon Patino, Alexis Pignon, Celeste Rodriguez, Katie Saavedra, Jesse Ventimiglia, Jazriel Williams, and Alyssa Woodley. And the winner is Alyssa Woodley. Alyssa Woodley is a sophomore majoring in victim studies with a double minor in American Sign Language and Sociology. During her time at SHSU, Alyssa has served as president of Program Council and Sigma Kappa Omega Sorority, Star Packet Sisterhood, PR Fundraising, and Academics Chair of Sigma Kappa Omega, a member of the Honors College and Alpha Lambda Delta Honor Society, and has successfully started manages, and acts as the coordinator for her small business, McKay. Her work can be seen across the United States in the form of handmade blankets, shirts, paintings, and other art pieces. Alyssa is grateful for the opportunity to receive this award and vows to continue serving Sam Houston State University in every capacity that she can, even after she graduates. Alyssa would like to thank everyone who has supported her in her endeavors to get her where she is today. Transitioning back into the organizational awards, we'd now like to present the Outstanding Advocacy Organization. The organization that is receiving this award has made a true impact both on campus and within the community through the hard work of each member. The nominees are Active Minds, Food Pantry, and Project Sunshine. And the winner is Food Pantry. The food pantry would like to say thank you to its dedicated workers who have been nothing but resilient, patient, and an exemplary model of what it means to uphold the university's motto while being leaders in the community. The pantry would also like to thank the College of Health Sciences and Dean Runyon for the assistance they provided over the years. The food pantry would like to thank everyone who has volunteered and donated to this wonderful organization. Without them, the food pantry would not be where it is today. They aspire to support students who struggle with food insecurity, to encourage an educational understanding of food insecurity, and to provide a space for students to volunteer and network with their peers. Finally, they would like to recognize their advisor, Kathleen Gilbert. She has been nothing but diligent and passionate, giving her everything to the pantry to make sure it is always the best it can be. Let's now present the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Business Administration. The nominees are Clayton Cottle, Katya Funez, Keely Garner, and Zachary McKellar. And the winner is Clayton Cottle. Clayton is an early stage entrepreneur with one goal, to help change the world. A native of Danville, Illinois, Clayton first earned his bachelor's and master's in criminal justice sciences at Illinois State University. 
now an MBA student at Sam Houston State University, where he also works in the Office of Research, he is striving to develop innovative products and solutions, build a consumer brand, and provide strategic support to others whose dreams were doubted. Clayton is the current president of the SHSU MBA Student Association. He received the Texas Business Hall of Fame Award in 2020, and one of his companies was accepted as a participant into the Future Founders Startup Boot Camp that started this January. He is currently pursuing two entrepreneurial ventures, a branded apparel company named A Story of Self-Belief, and an unnamed venture designing and bringing to market a barbell cleaning tool. And now, here is a message from Dean Musam. Good evening, I am Dr. Musam, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as the Dean of the College of Business Administration. One of the greatest joys of my job is working with the dedicated, talented, and hardworking students. I want to congratulate the nominees and winners being recognized tonight. Each of you make our colleges a better place as you epitomize Sam Houston State University's motto. I especially want to recognize and congratulate Clayton Cottle, the winner of the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Business Administration. Thank you, Dean Musum. This next group of students, with only one or two years left until graduation, are candidates for the Outstanding Junior Student Leader. The nominees are Noah Abramsky, Faith Ajay Sarpong, Carson Allen, Kwame Amba, Tyra Anderson, Melissa Angulo, Amanda Anwe, Emma Berry, Anisha Beverly, Liana Bonds, Adriana Brasher, Kate Chandler, Jillian Choquette, Hope Clayton, Jacqueline Gallo, Daniel Gonzalez, Zachary Hall, Nia Harris, Jesus Martinez, Taylor Nelson, Micaiah Owens, Seanette Paysinger, Nicholas Polk, Ruth Ponce, Ariana Ramp, Saranya Srikanth, Shanice Stevens, Haley Victory, Chelsea Washington, Brittany Weston, Evelyn Williams, and Brianna Zupan. And the winner is Ariana Ramp. If the measure of a life is in its service, Ariana Ramp stands heads above her petite stature. As a member of the Student Government Association, Ariana was voted in as a senator and serves as the director of university affairs. She also serves as an ambassador for the College of Education, the president for Kappa Delta Pi, a peer mentor for the freshman leadership program, community outreach officer for the Texas Association of Future Educators, and is a student worker at the SHSU Food Pantry. Through her job, she wants to help reduce food insecurity on campus. Furthermore, Ariana has served the Huntsville community through the Arise to Read program, in which she tutored second graders in their reading skills. Ariana wants to thank her family, friends, and mentors who have helped her along her path. Ariana aspires to become a special education teacher and continue to serve the SHSU and local communities. One thing you're witnessing on the stage tonight is one of SHSU's greatest aspects, its cultural diversity, which leads us into our next award, the Outstanding Diversity Organization. The nominees are As We Are Natural Hair Society, Black Women Empowered, League of United Latin Citizens, and the NAACP. And the winner is Unit. 6816 of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People.
Since 1909, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People has been the standard for activism, advocacy, equality, and education. No matter where you go, the NAACP will be there to promote activity through education and numerous campaigns. Unit 6816 of Sam Houston State University is no different. Ensuring that students of all colors have equal opportunity, ensuring that the student body is made aware of what's going on in our world, and, last but not least, ensuring that our students will exercise the rights given to them by registering to vote are only some of the things the NAACP did this past school year. As the oldest civil rights organization, it's the NAACP's duty to ensure that they uphold the mission and vision set in 1909. It is a privilege to be honored as an outstanding organization here at Sam Houston State, and 6816 will continue to be the standard for civil rights, diversity, and activism. Let's now present the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Criminal Justice. The nominees are Valeria Garza, Ruben Garzoria, Jacob Martinez, Kathy Wynn, Nika Naji, Joanna Vaca, Madison Ventura, and Deja Washington. The winner is Ruben Garzoria. Ruben Garzoria is a senior criminal justice major with a Homeland Security minor who has come to find SHSU as his second home. He has received the Terry Foundation Scholarship, which outlines the trust and dependability that the foundation looks for in selecting their applicants. Over the years, he has been inducted into ALD Honor Society, been a member and leader of the Terry Scholars at SHSU, and has come to be the president of Lambda Alpha Epsilon Delta Chi, the biggest CJ organization on campus. He is honored to accept this award in honor of his contributions to the university, but is more honored to receive this award as a testament to the strong will and determination instilled in him by his two loving parents. In the future, he will have a career in public service and one day be the Secretary of State for a presidential administration. And now, here is a message from Dean Lyons. Good evening, I'm Dr. Philip Lyons, Dean of the College of Criminal Justice. Let me begin by congratulating all of tonight's nominees and recipients. In particular, congratulations to the College of Criminal Justice Service Award nominees and the recipient this year, Mr. Ruben Garzoria. Congratulations. Dean Lyons. Our next award will spotlight those student organizations who focus on a more physical nature. Let's recognize the outstanding recreational organization. The nominees are SHSU Club Tennis, Men's Rugby, SHSU Esports, and Women's Ultimate Frisbee. And the winner is SHSU Club Tennis. The Sam Houston State Tennis Club has been an accomplished club sport on campus. They consistently place in the top three in their league conferences year after year, placing first in 2017. Just last year, they placed second at the sectionals tournament in Austin, overcoming schools Texas Tech and UT, both in overtime, in the quarterfinals and semifinals, and losing a close battle with SMU in the finals. They plan to keep improving and growing as an organization on campus and hope to bring home some more medals and trophies in the coming years. 
Special thanks to the hardworking club officers and members whose consistent practice and endless effort makes the organization so special. We'd now like to honor those students who are experiencing college in a non-traditional way. These students may have different experiences in life, be married, or have served in the military. This award is for the outstanding non-traditional student leader. The nominees are Morgan Dodgen, Micah Ducros, David Gomez, Julie Lassiter, Kennedy Singleton, Madison Ventura, and Evelyn Williams. The winner is Micah Ducros. Micah Ducros is a graduate student working towards her master's in marriage, couples, and family counseling. In her counseling career, Micah hopes to address the diverse needs of clients, empower all individuals, and tirelessly give back to her community. During her time at SHSU, Micah has balanced classes, countless organizations, leadership positions on and off campus, kept a full-time job, and poured her soul into work at the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. She is a voice both on and off campus for marginalized groups and uses her own empowering story to encourage others to seek their full potential. Micah believes in the healing power of compassion, a little perspective, a listening ear, and an open heart. Micah is supported by family from Houston to New Orleans, friends across the state, colleagues, mentors, and professors at SHSU that have witnessed the incredible transformation and perseverance of this humble, diverse, and deserving woman. For this next award, we'll be recognizing those groups who enlighten, inspire, and uplift the hearts and souls of the student body. These respective members are being honored for the Outstanding Religion and Spirituality Organization Award. The nominees are Bridges International Ministries, Catholic Student Center, Delight Ministries, Episcopal Student Center, and the Wesley Foundation. The winner is the Episcopal Student Center. The Episcopal Student Center is a ministry of inclusion and love, and the students involved have gathered together from diverse backgrounds to love and serve one another as Christ taught them. The ESC is a home away from the troubles of a pandemic, stresses of school, or hardships in life. They want to make this a home for the ostracized, the meek, and those hurt by the church. They are an LGBTQ plus affirming Christian organization. They want everyone to know this. Wherever any student is on their journey with Christ, no matter sexual orientation, gender identity, ethnicity, or background, no matter anything at all, all are welcome here. They are commanded to do the following. Love the Lord God with all their heart and with all their soul and with all their mind and to love their neighbors as themselves. All are welcome here. What is on your face? My mask? You don't like it? Uh, no. It says Stephen F. Austin and says O-9. They can't defend an end zone. How can that protect you from anything? You're right. Let me see if I have another one. 
I'm glad I have my backup. Is this one better? Much. <laughs> now that we have that out of the way, we'd now like to present the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Education. The nominees are Destiny Burton, Jasmine Rivera, and Evelyn Williams. And the winner is Destiny Burden. Destiny Burton is a senior majoring in education with a minor in early childhood through sixth grade. She is a student worker in the College of Education, the current president for Texas Association of Future Educators, the secretary for the College of Education Ambassadors, a small group leader for Truth College Ministry, and a member of both Kappa Delta Pi and Alpha Lambda Delta Honor Societies. She is thankful for her family for always supporting her, for her mother who has always pushed her to give 110%, her professors who continue to inspire her even after she has left their class, and for the education staff members who have listened when she needed someone to talk to. Lastly, she is most thankful for God for always showing endless grace and for always making a way when she thought things were impossible. And now, a few words from Dean Edmondson. Good evening. I'm Stacy Edmondson, Dean of the College of Education, and I want to take just a moment to congratulate all of our very deserving nominees for the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Education. I also want to especially congratulate Destiny Burton for being our Excellence in Service Award winner for the College of Education. Congratulations, Destiny, and thank you to all of our nominees for making a difference in this important way. Thank you, Dean Edmondson. The groups nominated for the next two awards have struck a balance between extracurriculars, academics, and philanthropy. These Greek organizations also meet GPA requirements while being active members in the campus community. Our first award goes to the Outstanding Social Sorority. The nominees are Alpha Chi Omega, Alpha Delta Pi, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Sigma Lambda Gamma National Sorority Incorporated, and Zeta Tau Alpha. And the winner is Alpha Chi Omega. Alpha Chi Omega is a Panhellenic sorority comprised of over 100 of the university's most involved and driven women. Founded in 1885, Alpha Chi Omega's main focus is to cultivate a positive culture in order to aid in the growth of real strong women. The heart and soul of Alpha Chi Omega is their philanthropy of raising awareness and educating others of the dangers of sexual assault and domestic violence. Alpha Chi Omega is a proud supporter of the Safe House here in Huntsville, Texas, and every year they donate all of their proceeds to their efforts of ending domestic violence in Walker County. Alpha Chi has raised over $11,000 toward the Safe House just this year, and they plan on exceeding that amount by the end of 2021. The women of Alpha Chi Omega exemplify the university's core values of service and community in their day-to-day -day efforts as students here at Sam Houston State University. The next award goes to the Outstanding Social Fraternity. The nominees are Omega Delta Phi, Phi Delta Theta, Phi Gamma Delta, Sigma Chi, and Sigma Phi Epsilon. And the winner is Phi Delta Theta.
The men of the Texas Pi chapter of Phi Delta Theta are honored to receive the Outstanding Social Fraternity Award. They look forward to the future as they continue to uphold the standard of excellence that Sam Houston State University has established. Through prioritizing academia, moral rectitude, and brotherhood, Phi Delta Theta aims to build each individual into becoming the best version of themselves. Each brother believes in the SHSU motto, and they hope that their involvement on and off campus will provide a better college experience for their fellow Bearcats. They would also like to take a moment to give a special thank you to IFC and the SHSU faculty and staff. Phi Delta Theta would not be here without your hard work and they appreciate all that you do for the student body. We'd now like to present the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Health Sciences. And the nominees are Chastity Alva, Victor Baya, Paris Landry, and Mackenzie Weathington. The winner is Mackenzie Weathington. Mackenzie Weathington is a second year graduate student working to obtain her Master of Science in Public Health. She has led several organizations at SHSU, including Zeta Tau Alpha, Orange Keys, and the Population Health Graduate Organization. Additionally, Mackenzie was instrumental in forming the service organization, Bearcats for Ryan's Challenge, where she serves as the founding member and president. This organization provides support to save the lives of those suffering from a rare genetic disorder Vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome across the globe and hopes that her efforts will one day contribute to finding the cure to this fatal disease. She credits SHSU for giving her the skills and education to pursue her passion in geriatrics, lifelong friendships, and for all of the opportunities she has had to further enrich her academic and personal life. She is grateful for her family, friends, and mentors who have helped define her passions and live a life that is meaningful. And now, a few words from Dean Runyon. Good evening, I'm Rod Runyon, Dean of the College of Health Sciences. We have four excellent nominees for the Sammy Award, including Chastity Alva, Victor Baya, and Paris Landry. Each of them have excellent academic records. However, only one winner is allowed. The 2021 winner of the Excellence in Service Award is Mackenzie Webbington, second year graduate student in public health. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Thank you, Dean Runyon. Let's now present the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. The nominees are Carson Allen, Margaret Hagman, and Amanda Lee. The winner is Amanda Lee. Amanda Lee is a senior majoring in communication studies with a minor in community leadership. She was born and raised in Jacksonville, Texas. Since arriving at SHSU, she has been consistently involved on campus. She currently serves as the student regent for the Texas State University System, the immediate past student body president, vice president for programming for Orange Keys University Ambassadors, member of the Greek Honor Society Order of Omega, a member of Campus Outreach, and is the student supervisor in the office of the Vice President for Student Affairs. Along with the activities Amanda is involved with, she continues to make the Dean's List every semester with an overall GPA of 3.77. 
Amanda would like to thank her family, 80 Pi sisters, and work family and the Office of the Vice President for Student Affairs for continually encouraging her through her journey here at SHSU. And now, a few words from Dean Lee. Good evening. This is Chimpin Lee. I'm the Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Ms. Amanda Lee, who is this year's Excellence in Service Award winner. Amanda, we are so proud of you, and we thank you so much for everything you have done at SAM and being such a great role model. We're wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Lee. Our next award acknowledges the outstanding graduate doctoral student leaders. The nominees are Clayton Cottle, Micah Ducros, Stephanie Galvin Russell, Kathleen Gilbert, Heath Hines, Travis Lake, Catherine Lewis, Megan McDonald, Julia Pervakova, Tracy Richardson, Karina Kilantan Garza, Jason Sylvie, Rashida Tawari, and Charisma Tobin. And the winner is Heath Hines. Heath Hines is a first year medical student at the College of Osteopathic Medicine. He is also the president and founder of the Surgical Interest Group. His fundraiser for Meals on Wheels has raised over $1,300 for the food insecure senior citizens of Montgomery County. Heath is also the vice president of membership for the American Medical Association and Texas Medical Association Medical Student Section. Heath has volunteered monthly at the Salvation Army in Conroe where he helps provide health screenings and resources to the local homeless population. Heath hopes to use his medical training to obtain a surgical residency and eventually become an orthopedic surgeon. He wants to thank his family, friends, and faculty for helping him become a leader in his community and supporting him on his journey to becoming a physician. Heath also wants to thank Dr. Reynolds, and Dr. Alvarez in particular for nominating him and being members during his first year. This next award encompasses organizations who provide venues of involvement for students with a wide range of interests. This award is for the Outstanding Special Interest Organization. The nominees are Collegiate Percussion Association, Ducks Unlimited at SAM, Men of Honor, Knight of Visions, SHSU Bass Fishing Team, Student Art Association, Student Osteopathic Met Medical Association, and Surgical Interest Group. The winner is Surgical Interest Group. The SHSU Surgical Interest Group is in its inaugural year at the College of Osteopathic Medicine. This organization helps provide medical students an opportunity to learn new skills and see if surgery is a field which they are suited for and the best means by which they can medically serve those in need. Their members have completed over 300 hours of community service in their first year. This year, the Surgical Interest Group has hosted suture workshops, attended grand rounds where they learned from local neurosurgeons and trauma surgeons, hosted discussions with pediatric surgeons from across the country, and created a fundraiser for their local Meals on Wheels. Their fundraiser has a goal of raising $2,000 for Meals on Wheels by April 17th. The SHSU Surgical Interest Group wants to thank its members, its officers, 
and its advisor, Dr. Mario Loomis, for the great success they have achieved this year. For this next award, we'll be recognizing the faculty or staff who serve as advisors for the over 270 student organizations. The nominees are Amberly Reynolds, Dana Bible, Dion Noble, Erin O'Neill, Jessica Simorte, Jordan Chang, Kathleen Gilbert, Prasopsuk Pinto, and Rachel Valle. And the winner is Dana Bible. Dana Bible is an assistant professor of business communication at Sam Houston State University and a lifelong Bearcat. Prior to accepting a full-time faculty position, she worked on the administrative side of the university and as an adjunct instructor for almost a decade. Dr. Bible's commitment to serving her students and the academy is evident through her work with numerous organizations and student groups, such as Texas Women in Higher Education, we Lead, Evolve, Golden Key International Honor Society, and Men of Honor. Dr. Bible has a doctorate in educational leadership with a concentration in higher education from Sam Houston State University. After earning her bachelor's degree in business and an MBA from Sam Houston State University, she pursued a career in the private sector before finding her calling in higher education. It is this winding career path that drives her research agenda, which primarily focuses on mentoring, developmental networks, leadership, and diversity. And now, we'd like to present the Excellence and Service Award for the College of Science and Engineering Technology. The nominees are Faith Ajay Sarpong, Bethany Bulliard, Ebrahim Emanuel, Kyler Kelly, Lance Sebesta, and Ileana Sanchez. And the winner is Kyler Kelly. Tyler Kelly is a senior chemistry major with a double minor in biology and criminal justice. As a first generation student, he has been involved with several organizations, including the Alpha Lambda Delta National Honor Society, the Beta 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 National Biological Honor Society, the J.C. Stallings Chemical Society, and the Society of Forensic Science. In addition, he has also spent many countless hours serving the SHSU community as the president of Food Pantry, where he helps support students struggling with food insecurity. Kyler is also one of the leading lab research assistants to Dr. Ilona Petrakovic's toxicology lab, where he mentors fellow chemistry undergraduates, hoping to pursue careers in both the medical and chemical fields. When he's not doing research or providing community service through his various organizations, Kyler spends his time as a chemistry tutor and teaching assistant in the Department of Chemistry, where he hopes to inspire others to pursue careers in both the chemistry and STEM fields. And now, a few words from Dean Pascarella. Good evening. I am Dean John Pascarella with the College of Science and Engineering Technology. And I want to congratulate all of the deserving nominees and winners on being recognized tonight. I especially want to congratulate Kyler Kelly for earning the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Science and Engineering Technology. Kyler, your work with serving SHSU through the food pantry is greatly appreciated. Eat them up, cats.
Thank you, Dean Pascarella. At this time, we'd like to debut the Excellence in Service Award for the College of Osteopathic Medicine. Located in Conroe, this new college added to Sam Houston's great name in education has 75 students enrolled for its first year. It is our honor to present the first Excellence in Service Award for the College of Osteopathic Medicine. The nominees are Kensley Grant, Heath Hines, and Kyle Swanson. And the winner is Kensley Grant. Kinsley Grant serves as the current SHSU College of Osteopathic Medicine's Student Council President and is a leader and or member in various other organizations. Kinsley has worked diligently with other students and student leaders to ensure an inclusive team-based culture at SHSU-COM. He is immensely honored to serve the student body of SHSU-COM and is greatly humbled by this nomination. He strives to continue serving the students of SHSU COM by continuing to work with them in developing an atmosphere of academic achievement, community involvement, competent cultural awareness, inclusion, and diversity for SHSU COM students. He truly believes in the motto of SHSU and is so grateful for the opportunity to serve the students of SHSU COM. He is incredibly thankful for his classmates professors, and mentors for their support, guidance, and trust. His efforts would also not be possible without the love of his amazing wife, Keely, and the friendship and entertainment of his two Jack Russell Terriers, Sonny and Piper. And now, a few words from Dean Henley. Good evening. Uh, I'm Dr. Charles Henley, uh, Dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine. It's a pleasure for me to be here tonight and I'd like to congratulate all of the nominees uh, for this uh, Excellence Award. We had three outstanding uh, candidates, and I would like to congratulate Kinsley Grant as our choice for representing the College of Osteopathic Medicine for the Excellence in Service Award. Congratulations, Kinsley. Dean Henley. Our last organizational award will be presented to the organization that best exemplifies our university's motto. The Measure of a Life is its Service Award will be presented by the newly crowned Miss Sam Houston, Madison Ventura, and Miss Piney Woods, Mackenzie Patterson. The nominees for this award consist of all organizations nominated this evening. The winner is Food Pantry. The Food Pantry would like to say thank you to its dedicated workers who have been nothing but resilient, patient, and an exemplary model of what it means to uphold the university's motto while being leaders in the community. The Pantry would also like to thank the College of Health Sciences and Dean Runyon for the assistance they provided over the years. The Food Pantry would like to thank everyone who has volunteered and donated to this wonderful organization Without them, the food pantry would not be where it is today. They aspire to support students who struggle with food insecurity, to encourage an under educational understanding of food insecurity, and to provide a space for students to volunteer and network with their peers. Finally, they would like to recognize their advisor, Kathleen Gilbert. She has been nothing but diligent and passionate, giving her everything to the pantry to make sure it is always the best it can be. Thank you 
Miss Sam Houston and Miss Piney Woods. We're down to the final three categories of tonight's award ceremony, the Krieger and McDermott Memorial Awards and the prestigious Sammy Award. However, before we announce the deserving recipients, we'd like to take a moment to tell you a little about the history of each award. The male and female senior who have made the greatest contributions to overall student life here at Sam Houston State University will be presented with the Krieger and McDermott Memorial Awards, which are named in honor of two former deans, Velma McDermott, Dean of Women from 1958 to 1969, and William Krieger, Dean of Men from 1947 to 1963. The Sammy itself, a crystal bear cat shaped statuette, is this evening's highest honor and recognizes two faculty, staff members, and two senior students for their outstanding involvement and contributions to the SHSU community. Please welcome to the stage Vice President for Student Affairs, Frank Parker, to help us present this year's Krieger and McDermott Memorial Awards. The nominees for Outstanding Male Senior are Cesar Amaya, Colin Clifford, Oscar Edo Taradas, Dustin Guyona, Ruben Garzoria, David Gomez, Daniel Gonzalez III, Juan Hernandez, Chase Kenimer, Jeremiah Matthews, Joseph Oviedo, Carson Reed, Joshua Valentin, Michael Villanueva, Eric Webster, and Colton Whitaker. And the winner of the Krieger Memorial Award is Michael Villanueva. Michael would like to start by thanking God for all he has blessed him with. He also thanks his family for their constant support and motivation. Additionally, he would like to give a special thanks to the SHSU faculty and staff that have supported him during times of success and during times of trial, as they have truly made his experience as a Bearcat one he will cherish for the rest of his life. Last but not least, he would like to thank the other nominees for their contributions to Sam Houston. Now for the presentation of the McDermott Memorial Award. And the nominees for Outstanding Female Senior are Julissa Cantu Alvarez, Destiny Burton, Evelyn Castro, Morgan Crawford, Angel Davis, Vanessa Del Valle, Monica Dike, Dejanay Durham, Charlotte Ford, Jennifer Fortenberry, Clarissa Galindo, Valeria Garza, Keely Garner, Lucia Gonzalez, Tierra Gross, Jordan Johnson, Janasia Jones, Kayla Kimball, Paris Landry, Hannah Leek, Amanda Lee, Jennifer Nevejas, Haley Newman, Kennedy Onick, Nadisela Oviedo, Becca Raspberry, Sydney Daniels, Shannon Simmons, Kaylin Stigger, Nicole Stone, Taylor Swearingen, Dahlia Trejo, Kenzie Walker, Damonique Williams, and Michaela Woods. The winner of the McDermott Memorial Award is Amanda Lee. Amanda Lee is a senior majoring in communication studies with a minor in community leadership. She was born and raised in Jacksonville, Texas. Since arriving at SHSU, she has been consistently involved on campus. She currently serves as the student regent for the Texas State University System, the immediate past student body president, vice president for programming for Orange Keys University Ambassadors, member of the Greek Honor Society Order of Omega, a member of Campus Outreach, and is the student supervisor in the office of the vice president for student affairs. Along with the activities Amanda is involved with, 
she continues to make the dean's list every semester with an overall GPA of 3.77. Amanda would like to thank her family, AD Pi sisters, and work family in the Office of the Vice President for Student Affairs for continually encouraging her through her journey here at SHSU. Thank you, Mr. Parker. It is now time to present the last award for this evening's ceremony, the Sammy Award. To help us present the Sammy Award is University President Alisa White. Hello, how exciting. You guys look lovely tonight. So this is, this is my first Sammy event, Sammy Award event. So any advice? I'd say enjoy it. It's short and, and lived. I know us MCs, in the blink of an eye, it's over. So just enjoy it. Well, I'm honored to be here because Sammy means something. We have a lot of Bearcats, but we don't have a lot of Sammy Award winners. It's very special to be identified to have this prestigious award bestowed on some people who have captured the hearts of the entire Bearcat community, and I couldn't be more pleased. The Sammy nominees for faculty and staff are Jennifer Alexander, Erica Bumpers, Heather Cottle, Ulan Dakiv, Barry Doss, Chris Garcia, Kathleen Gilbert, Christopher Malin, Andrew Miller, Debbie Nichols, Laura Patterson, Brianna Provost, Leandre Queen, Rosa Rador, Tracy Richardson, Mark Taplett, James Van Rokel, and Robert Williams. The first recipient for the Sammy for faculty and staff is Debbie Nichols. Debbie Nichols is the executive assistant to the vice president for student affairs at Sam Houston State University. In September of 2021, she will have served 25 years in this position. She counts working and serving at SHSU as a blessing in her life. Service is very intentional to her, and she believes that incorporating it into daily life brings joy and fulfillment to her and those around her. Debbie would like to thank her colleagues, friends, and family for the support and encouragement they give her on a continual basis. The second faculty and staff recipient is Richard Eglisere. Dr. Eglisere has served the university in different capacities over his tenure. After joining the faculty in 1983, he also served in administrative roles starting in 1999, from Chair of Psychology and Philosophy, Director of the SHSU School Psychology Program, Director of the SHSU Honors College, Vice Provost, and to his last official administrative role, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, during his tenure with SHSU, he made lasting impressions on those he worked with and mentored. In 2019, Eglisere's leadership and commitment to civic engagement and community were recognized with the William M. Plater Award by the American Association of State Colleges and Universities. The Plater Award is the first national award established specifically to honor and recognize chief academic officers for their leadership in higher education. After 37 years of dedicated service to Sam Houston State University, he has decided to return to teaching and enjoy retirement on the golf course.
The student nominees for the SAMI are Julissa Cantu Alvarez, Jackson Biddick, Colin Clifford, Dejanay Durham, Jennifer Fortenberry, Keely Garner, Ruben Garzoria, Margaret Hagman, Jordan Johnson, Zaina Johnson, Henesis Juarez, Amanda Lee, Zachary McKellar, Jennifer Nevejas, Haley Newman, Sydney Daniels, Anubhav Thakur, Haley Thibodeau, Joshua Valentin, Eric Webster, Michaela Woods, and Caitlin Yates. The first student recipient of the Sammy Award is Julissa Cantu Alvarez. In the short three years that Julissa has spent at Sam Houston, she has grown as an individual and leader thanks to the community that has come to be her second home. Julissa has been involved on campus by serving as an Honors College Student Ambassador, URS Co-Chair, Recruiter for Lambda Alpha Epsilon, one of the 18 Orange Keys, and a TRIO member. She attributes much of her success to the TRIO SSS program and their staff for their constant guidance and support in every opportunity she has pursued throughout college. She would also like to thank her mother for being an amazing role model that provided her with a strong foundation to be as successful as she is today. Julissa is honored and grateful to receive this award in honor of her service to the Bearcat community. The second student recipient for the SAMI in the final award of the evening. The winner is Anubhav the Kerr. Anubhav is a senior math major with a minor in economics. He is an international student the President Ambassador of the Elliott T. Vowers Honors College, and a data analyst for the student success rate for SHSU, a division of academic planning and assessment. In his free time, he likes to run, read books, cook new recipes, and go run more. After he graduates, he aspires to go to graduate school in financial economics. He is grateful for all his mentors and professors for their constant support and guidance. He would like to thank all his roommates for moral support. He would like to thank all the scholarship donors for their generosity so that he can receive an education. Finally, he would like to thank his parents, who are probably having breakfast 8,000 miles away, for providing for him. Dr. White. As the closing of tonight's ceremony draws near, we would like to express how much we have enjoyed being your MCs this evening. I know I speak for all of us when I say we feel so lucky to have been chosen to guide you all through tonight's ceremony. I have enjoyed this experience more than I can put into words, and I am so extra grateful that it has allowed me to meet Uriel, Jesus, Jennifer, and Carson. Additionally, we would like to thank the Office of the Vice President for Student Affairs, the Office of the President, the Office of the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, the SHSU Council of Academic Deans, the 2021 SAMI Selection Committee, the 2021 Award Presenter, Lauren Beatty, the Department of Activities, Student Activities, Professional Staff and Student Staff. The announcers of the SAMIs Ms. Jennifer Fortenberry and Mr. Carson Reed. The James and Nancy Gatner Performing Arts Center, the Loman Student Center, Makeup by Sheila Ibarra, Loud Photography, and finally, Slate Home Productions.
Thank you so much for tuning in to the 27th annual Sammies. And always remember, the measure of a life is its service. Good night, everyone. Eat, Eat em up, up cats. cats.